enemies, so that gets kind of interesting. Pop quiz, tech's favorite vehicle. Oh, in Battletech, <laughs> the Alicorn. It has three Gauss rifles. Uh, does, oh god, people are asking, does Canopus have cat girls? Yes, they do. <laughs> and I'm not going to talk about that. We at the mobile news base understand that some history is too hot for TV, but we felt compelled today to cover a dark part of the Battletech universe. Our subject today will be explored in this segment titled Stonewall Talks Battletech Cat Girls. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm bringing forth the subject of something serious to discuss. And that is about ladies who wish to be cat girls in the Battletech universe. I didn't know cat girls were a thing in Battletech until someone brought these women up to Mr. Tex during a Living Legends stream. So, in digging for info on this, outside of two source books, I only found a few forum posts, no videos to date. In a few pieces of art, only one piece of art was official. So this had us at the mobile news base dig and dig to look into the corner of the universe to see what was up with this strange sect of the Battletech universe. In the Battletech A Time of War Companion is where we find most of our info about cat girls. We go to page 2 of 52 under advanced prosthetics and implant types the X type extreme prosthetics and implants these represent the most exotic function added modifications many of which are more dubious utility such as the additional functional tails, wings, and extra limbs. As we researched this, we noticed strange word choice by the author of A Time of War, as if the author might be biased against this certain part of the universe. So we took this word here, dubious, found the definitions of it. Our first definition of dubious is questionable. And our second definition is a dubious person, a person with questionable character, as in someone whom it is better to avoid. As we go further to page 53, genetic Manipulations type 6E, 6S, 6, 6X. We look at these numbers and say, hey, that is 666, the mark of the beast. Is this being written in 2009, leftover fear from maybe the satanic panic from the 80s and the 90s? We are assuming that the author is of a older type and would have lived through this time period and maybe some of that has kept with him and unfortunately maybe he has developed a bias. So we continue on. The universe and the author on Gene Cass society. So if the dubious half human half cat girls exist the universe and the author says they are probably segregated, living out their nine lives in seclusion. We have a prosthetics table, talks all about this. And we quote right under genetic manipulation. Strictly speaking, the gene cast is a myth in the Battletech universe, a rumored society of unknown origins that lives in secluded colonies on worlds that should be completely devoid of human life. 
Their existence has never been confirmed. So the author continues on at the end of this section to sum up the toxic culture against women who want nothing more in a universe of death and suffering than to be Catwoman, Josie and the Pussycats, or the Thundercats. In this last, last section here on page 53, Game masters should be stingy in allowing any character to receive any form of genetic manipulation as the general population of the Battletech universe is overwhelmingly standard human. Indeed, outside of testing labs and sealed off colonies populated by rejects, genetic modification is beyond the technology a private citizen can even have access to, and even the clans who possess the scientific knowledge of the Star League actively avoid its use as a perversion of their own eugenics. So not only do we have evidence of the author being somewhat biased against ladies and their free will in the Battletech universe, we have the clans, and without a doubt the inner sphere, also looking down on these ladies to the point that they have to live on their own on the outskirts of the universe often being prostitutes or in the pleasure circuses of Canopus. Speaking of that, we have a picture of that in the source book. On page 190, we see in the, in the universe that mermaids exist and it looks like you can have a deer leg or a monster hand as a prosthetic. And down below we have a cat girl placing on makeup to get ready for the pleasure circus show on the hardcore planet. A lot of, I assume, Cat girls, mermaids, whatever they want to be. I'm, I'm, I'm really assuming that this is not their preferred profession to be in a freak show where you're bowing to people for money. But you got to do what you got to do, and this is the choices you make in the Battletech universe. So... In conclusion, the next time a cat girl passes you on the street, in a mech, or at a convention, tip your fedora to that brave soul. This has been Stonewall with the mobile news, and I hope I have broadened your horizons a bit.